What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Ultra EK here, also known as Elijah Kareem. If you're feeling the content, please like, share, and definitely hit that subscribe button. Leave comments below if you have any thoughts, any questions. Today I wanna to talk about how to get a fire color grade in less than five minutes in DaVinci Resolve. What we got here is a DJI Mavic 3 Classic. Beautiful drone, wonderful piece of technology. This also will apply to a lot of the DJI drones that have D-Log. What this requires is actually before you even get in the edit bay is to make sure your footage is properly exposed. You'll max out the latitude as far as your video acquisition. And when you have D-Log, then that's where the magic happens. With this particular camera system, I like to keep it at that lower ISO number, that 400 ISO, ISO 400. T4, 24 frames per second, 180 degree shutter. You're gonna really need an ND filter. I've got an ND filter here, one of the Freewell ND filters. It's an ND16, definitely experiment with it. But with the 16, you can actually shoot most magic hour material and get a great exposure. So first thing that you wanna do when you're in DaVinci is actually make sure that DaVinci is interpreting your footage correctly. The method of doing that I've found, first you gotta go to project settings. Right now we're gonna go jump into color management. Now, there are many videos out there about how to approach color management. With this, this is our quick and easy one, two, three method. So we'll start out with the color science in DaVinci YRGB, and then we'll go down to timeline color space, DaVinci Y gamut intermediate, then we would hit save down here. We've got this nice clip that we captured downtown Manhattan. So looking at the financial district, world trade, and we'll just delete our notes. Option S, we'll hit that three times, holding option. We'll apply color space transform for the input node and the output node. On our input node, label it first, in, last one, out. This one adjusts. We're gonna set our input color space to match our current camera that we're looking at. For our input node, on the input color space, we'll go to DJI D gamut. For input gamma, we'll assign that to DJI D log. For output color space, DaVinci Y gamut. For output gamma, we'll be using DaVinci Intermediate. We'll jump right over to our output node. Now we're gonna set that input color space on your output node. I know it's a little confusing, but bear with me. To DaVinci Y gamut. Now it's reading the adjustments within DaVinci. We'll select for our input gamma, DaVinci Intermediate. And for our output color space, we're gonna work with Broadcast Standard Rec 709. Your output gamma will be 2.4. All right, so we'll jump right into the adjustment node. The way I like to approach things is simple is best. You check out this color wheel section right here, the primary color wheels. Now there's an HDR section, we'll get into that another time. And with your color wheels, it's super simple. Your lift is your shadows. Your gamma will refer to your midtones. Your gain refers to your highlights. And your offset is actually an adjustment for the entire video signal. The separation of nodes allows for a higher quality interpretation for your grade. However, with this, our quick and easy method, we're just gonna do all our adjustments in this one singular node here. And we can start out with just throwing a little bit of contrast juice on there. You already can see some punch. We'll just do a quick before and after. Get a little bit of contrast in there, 1.25. You start to feel the shadows a little bit, but you don't crush the blacks entirely. Play with a little bit of the temperature here. Let me see how it looks if it's a little warmer. See how it looks when it's a little cooler. I like a little warmer, but not super warm. We'll throw a little bit of blue into the shadows. Now when you are adjusting, play with the adjustment. Like push it kind of out of the way to see what it does. Adjust the taste. We're just gonna introduce a little bit of blue teal into the shadows. Now when you break up your nodes, you can separate each of these adjustments, but when you are doing a combined filter sweep, it can look good, but 
you don't have the power to deactivate each on the nodes. We're gonna introduce just a little bit of gold orange here. We don't want it to be too yellow to where it turns green. You see that? Boom. So this is with our adjustment. D log flat. This is everything on. This is just our adjustment node muted. Proper interpretation. This actually doesn't look bad, but this is a little flat. Now we've got some seasoning in there. Boom. So, all right. Let's say we've got this clip here and we want to take that information and transfer it over to another clip. So I'll just select my clip here on the timeline, Command C, select the other clips that I want to copy to, and we'll hit Option V. Option V, it's gonna pull up this window here and I'm just gonna check off color correction. Now, your option V is to paste attributes to another clip. And it pulls up this menu, which has many various attributes. The majority of the attributes for your clip or all the relevant ones. There's, I think, a few other ones that you could probably find in the back menus, but this is pretty much it. And paste. And now let's just play it back. Boom. Boom. Immediately you see your new updated color grade working on this next clip. All right, y'all, that is how we get a banging color grade in five minutes or less from our DJI drone. We appreciate y'all checking out the video, hanging out with us. Let us know how we're doing in the comments below. Let us know if you wanna see more. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and definitely hit that subscribe button. Until next time, Ultra EK signing out. Peace.